A 410 ton solenoid of length 34 centimeters and radius 3.2 centimeters carries a current of 5.1 amps. Find the following. A. The magnetic field strength inside the coil at its midpoint, and B. The magnetic flux through a circular cross-sectional area of the solenoid at its midpoint. So we'll set up the equation. So I'm going to uh, set up the equation for the magnetic field uh, of a solenoid. It's equal to the permeability of free space times the uh, turn density times the current. And so then I want to define some variables. So my permeability of free space is equal to uh, 4 times pi times 10 to the negative 7th. And the turn density is defined as the number of turns divided by the length or the turns per unit of length. And that's usually a, a, big, a scripty L. And then uh, so we can use this equation to find the magnetic field, and that will give you part A. And then you want to go into the... Um, you want to go into the uh, the flux. So the magnetic flux is going to be equal to the magnetic field times the area times the sine of theta. And we want to define our, our angle as since it's going through the cross-sectional area, that means it's perpendicular. So theta is going to be 90 degrees. And the area, so area is equal to pi r squared. Be sure to convert your radius into SI units of meters. And then the, uh, the, the magnetic field, we can just substitute uh, the, the equation that we had for part one. So we substitute what we got uh, right here into right here. And so what we'll end up with is the magnetic flux is equal to, uh, is equal to the permeability of free space times the turn density, times the current, times pi r squared, that's the area, times the sine of 90. And when you plug all of that in, you should get an answer of, uh, of uh, for the first part, 7.7283 times, uh, and actually it's times nothing, it's uh, milli Tesla. And then part two, it's uh, you should get 2.48, so that's a 48619 times 10 to the negative fifth, and that is uh, Tesla per meter times meter squared. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video, and on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.